Hello YouTube friends, I'm coming at you from the Dunkin Donuts that's right down the street from Autocross. Um, you can actually hear the cars starting all the way from down here, but um, yeah, so I went through a bit of an ordeal this morning and I ended up having to leave the event because I was having such a bad panic attack. And I know that a lot of you guys are really excited to see this video of the first autocross of the season. I promise that as long as I am not anxious as fuck again and have to leave, which hopefully is never happening again, um, I will record the first autocross with BMW CCA on April 23rd. I don't even totally know how to explain what happened this morning, nor do I really have to because... I don't think a lot of people will understand it, but it was just what was best for me. I found myself in a really bad situation and I just sadly could not participate in my favorite thing ever because some people like to be really mean. Uh, I'm a little sarcastic right now. I'm trying to stay obviously, po I'm surprisingly a lot more positive than I would think I would be considering that I had to leave um but yeah I'm just trying to stay positive and I'm honestly like happy with my decision because it was what was best for me even though it was really difficult to leave so anyways I wrote a little bit I think I'm gonna post this to Facebook and Instagram I have no idea if any of this makes any sense I, I'm failing to put anything like usually I can phrase things kind of in a positive way or like inspiring hopefully or kind of a strong like meaningful way but I just I don't know I'm just too overwhelmed or like what I went through this morning was really personal so um I don't know that I can go into detail about what I went through but um here's what I wrote winning keeps you strong but losing makes you stronger in life sometimes we need to lose the small battles in order to win the war Today could definitely be counted as a loss. Today was the one day I'd been looking forward to all winter long. First autocross event of the season. I prepped all week long for this and put so much work into the car. Nothing makes me happier than being out there autocrossing with the love of my life, Belle. But today, today I had to leave the event. Most likely no one is going to understand why, nor do I need to justify why I did. It was just what was right for me. I hope that no one knows or understands the immense amount of emotional and mental abuse I have gone through because absolutely no one deserves to go through that or should ever have to experience it. Today I found myself in a situation where I was being abused and manipulated all morning on what was supposed to be one of the most exciting days of the year at my happiest place to be. Not today. Not today. It was absolutely heartbreaking to have such a special day taken from me like that and I had one of the worst, most inten in intense panic attacks I've ever had in my entire life. I know this probably doesn't make sense to most of you, but it does to me and that's all that matters. I need to do what's best for me. And as heartbreaking as it is that I had to leave the event today, that just happened to be what's best for me. I know Belle was so ready to tear it up today, but she's still, <laughs> she's still a happy girl to be here for me in my time of need, even if it means missing out on an autocross day. That's why I love her so much, because no matter how abused my mind gets, no matter how broken I feel, she is always there for me. It sucks that I had to leave, but today I just did not feel safe in the environment that I was in. As I said, I'm frustrated that I can't put this more eloquently or phrase it in a strong, inspiring manner, but I'm just overwhelmed from the ordeal that I dealt with this morning. I'm proud though, because honestly, somehow today still feels like a win for me. I cannot explain how or why, but it just does. My advice is surround yourself with genuinely positive people who support you and don't try to take the one thing that you love from you and the one thing that makes you happy from you because this has happened before with this friend and I really should have known better which is why I'm a little bit mad at myself but I guess I've really now officially ingrained it in my head that this person is not good for me. 
Because like I said, you really need to surround yourself with positive people who support you and are happy for you when you succeed, not like jealous and angry about it and don't get mad at you for being happy. <sighs> yeah, I know that sounds crazy. Thank you guys for listening to this because kind of these posts that I write and now when I say them out loud, it really, 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 really helps me stay positive, not anxious, and get out of my panicky hyperventilating mode because it's a way of expressing myself and I really appreciate that you guys listen if you watch this whole thing. It really means a lot to me and I don't know. I know most people on YouTube are like, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe because I put out new videos every Wednesday. I don't know, but I don't do that. I am just trying to keep it as real as possible and this is just a way of expressing myself and I'm not trying to put out content that people will think is fun. Well, I mean, like, I hope you guys find it entertaining when I'm in a better mood, but like, not trying to like I don't plan any of this out I kind of just am documenting my life and sometimes life is really hard and shitty and I'm just trying to document all of it not just the good times because I don't know the bad times are what makes the good times even better so I don't know like I said this really helps me express myself and I appreciate you guys for the love and support and I hope that you give out tons of positive vibes to everybody because just negativity is awful and it's destroying my mind because some people like to control other people and it's not healthy and don't be friends with people like that. <laughs> I love you guys. I have no idea how this video is going to turn out but I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know how to wrap this up like ever. Today was rough, and I was in a situation that made me really uncomfortable and brought back a lot, a lot of the bad memories that I had been through in my past emotionally abusive relationship. And I guess even though I had to leave autocross, which is my absolute favorite place to be, I'm still proud because that was what was right for me. I cannot absolutely cannot be in that environment where someone is one second saying he's mad at me and fuck off and the next second saying it's okay I'm not mad don't worry about it I cannot handle being in a situation like that where it's flip like I cannot handle a situation like that where it's flipping every literally this morning it was every 10 minutes between I am rip shit pissed at you and oh it's okay I'm not mad so I just can't be in an environment like that and I know that I had to leave autocross today but it's just what I had to do it's not it's not a healthy place or I mean autocross is an awesome place to be but having someone around you with that kind of mentality is not a good place to be and not a good mental place to be in. I don't know, guys. I'm really sorry I'm not eloquent today. I just can't phrase anything. But I don't know. You just can't be around that. And it really sucks that it came to autocross. But hopefully I will never ever find myself in this situation again. We're going to get stronger from this. We're going to learn from this. We're going to try and stay as positive as possible. It's going to be okay. We're going to work through this. And it's gonna be awesome we're still gonna kill it this season I am honestly pretty bummed I didn't get to try my new tires today although it is a bit rainy out but still I've heard that they're great in the rain too but April 23rd is coming up so that's the next event and we'll go fucking hard then because I'm gonna be out to kill so you better watch out people I'm coming for your times